I was reading a Reddit thread, and the Reddit thread was, what's something a school teacher did to you that would not fly today? And they had some really good ones on here, and I actually have an example of one that I would like to to tell, but after I'll read some of these other ones. I got the easy one. Here's here's one. It uh, says, sixth grade teacher Ms. Sullivan would take three kids every Friday to McDonald's for lunch. She was cool as hell. She smoked when she was driving and everything. <laughs> and then another one here, it says, English teacher in high, high school used to cuss out the kids if they were being noisy, she legit would actually throw down f bombs. She even, if you kept on talking, would take the erasers from the chalkboard and throw them at you. <laughs> sometimes pegging you right in the head. Which, by the way, I will I tell mean, you that you didn't have that. You don't have that nowadays. You have the smart boards. Right. Back then, we had things called chalkboards, and chalk and erasers would hurt if you had a teacher that would throw those. <laughs> Another one here Mrs. in this red thread. always used to throw the erasers at my head. <laughs> yeah, but then we got the smart boards with those thick electrical pens, and those uh, things were heavy. Oh, they, <laughs> they, would they throw those? They throw those? are expensive. Yeah, those are expensive, yeah. Uh, yeah. I throw them. <laughs> they had a couple of teachers throw stuff, and they definitely shouldn't have. Here, here's another one. One of my history teachers tied me to my desk in high school, no. all in good fun, mm -hmm. and I was absolutely being sar a sarcastic little spit, but I thought it was funny. Could you imagine... If your kid got tied to the desk, that, I, it happened to me. I told the story on the air. Sister Cyprian tied my left arm to the desk because <laughs> she, I was left-handed, and she believed that the left hand was the devil. So she tied my left arm, so my parents had to go into the school the next day and complain to the principal. Oh, that, my god! That it's okay if I learned to write left-handed. I love this one. My elementary school principal would pull our loose teeth. <laughs> she loved doing this. She thought it was the coolest thing ever. She'd reach her hands right into our mouth and pull that sucker out oh and gosh. give us a lollipop. <laughs> and then finally, a fourth grade teacher, Ms. Hardy, who is at least 400 pounds, would sit on us during class recess if we were not behaving. No. Our gym teacher, Mr. <laughs> Wagner, would whip us with his whistle cord, leaving marks. Um, mine was a good one, and then Spike, you cheer yours too. Mine was, for those that, that lived... You know, and I have friends of mine that will listen to our show on the iHeartRadio app on the south side of Chicago. I went to a school called Marist High School. I had a teacher back in school. It was a gym teacher that used to take us to a bar that's still, I think, there called the Riley Riley's Daughter. And he would take us for happy hour. So our, really? our gym class was the last uh. class of the day. And he would want to get an early start on happy hour. Yeah. So he would load <laughs> up his old, you know, like Chevy, you know, Impala or whatever it was. And we would all drive over to Riley's daughter, go sit inside, and they were none the wiser that we were students because we wore ties to school. Well, and you also looked like you were and 40. I, yeah, exactly. I looked like I was 40 exactly <laughs> at that time. What was yours? Is something that you could never do? Well, the big do. one was swatting. They would always hit us in, in school, which nowadays that would never fly. The parents would go in right away to the school. But, I mean, I was hit by teachers, smacked over the head, hit with rulers, all that stuff as a kid. And then the worst was in the f fourth grade. When I was caught passing a note in class and the teacher, it was, it was a love note. I was telling someone how I had a crush on Sonia Fiore, but she wasn't allowed to date in the fourth grade because her very strict Italian father would not let her talk to boys. The teacher made me and Sonia Fiore get up in front of everyone, stand in front of the class, and she read my note to the class. Oh, no. Embarrassing the crap out of me and... And Sonia, the girl who had, poor girl, had nothing to do with anything. She wasn't uh, part of the note or anything. So, like, you think about that now, that's bullying. Like, yeah. the, oh, my gosh, that would never fly for a teacher to single you out and shame, embarrass you in front of your But look what class. it did for us. Yeah. It made us stronger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it made us stronger. What's up, Ashley? How you doing? Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Ashley and, and other listeners, too, that are checking out, if you have a story, what's uh, something that a school teacher did to you that would not fly today? When I was in elementary school, our teacher, Mr. Ligon, used to smoke a cigar while pushing us on the swings on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Those were different times. <laughs> oh, my God. Isn't that the best? Isn't that great? 
A little part of me was like, at least he was playing with the kids. <laughs> right, right. Oh, exactly. my God. Yeah. Thank you. Did, at least he pushed us. Yeah. When you were a kid, did you love the smell of cigars? Because I loved the smell of cigars. I did. And I yeah. always went home smelling like one. And my mom asked me if I played on the swings today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mojo, your dad smoked a pipe, I remember. Yes. I do love the yeah. smell of pipe. Yeah. yeah. My seventh grade teacher, Mr. McCabe, smoked a pipe. The entire time he would mm-hmm. monitor recess, he'd smoke yeah. that pipe. And did he have like a sweater on, too? Like a smoking sweater? Probably. On too? Yeah. Probably, yeah. I think yeah. they sell those together.